always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Good morning, West Michigan. We are waking up to a very quiet kickoff to this Thursday. A couple of live shots for you. We'll uh, show you that from Grand Rapids to Kalamazoo, not much going on this morning, not a whole lot of wind. You can see that American flag that is uh, high atop the Fifth Third Bank building in the heart of Kalamazoo virtually still this morning because of the calm winds. A few isolated sprinkles won't be impossible today in areas especially north of Grand Rapids, but most of it will be completely dry from start to finish. With those temperatures in the 60s, that's an indication of the humidity that has climbed just a little in the atmosphere. So warmer and slightly muggier today will be mostly dry though through midday Sunday. A few rain showers will start to roll in later Sunday into Monday with a few lingering rain showers through the early part of next week. Temperature yesterday, 83, pretty close to where we should be for highs this time of the year in Grand Rapids and in Kalamazoo. 85 was the high yesterday in Kalamazoo. Uh, precip chances really are quite low over the next several days. They start to ramp up a little bit for Sunday and Monday. Monday, the wettest day of the stretch. And then you can see that drier air working back in for most of Tuesday, Wednesday, and even into Thursday. And those temperatures will generally be holding at levels that are pretty close to or a little above average for the next couple of days. And you'll see those temperatures that will slip down into the upper 70s by Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, highs in the 70s through the early part of next week. So it'll be just a little cooler than average for the second week of August. Here is a look at the future cast. And you can see as of 8 o'clock this evening, a couple of isolated sprinkles and showers were optimistic that the races should get off dry in Berlin this evening, but there certainly is an outside chance. We'll have meteorologist Blake Harms, of course, me monitoring the latest information uh, should any th any uh, showers develop. Overall, then looking at that uh, cool front, not a lot of activity associated with it dropping to the south, and there will be more active weather well off to our west and southwest over the next couple of days. Lake Michigan, we're anticipating the green flags to be flying at most of those beaches with water temperatures still holding in the 60s. Again, gorgeous weather for the uh, first weekend in August. So much going on. Of course, we've got Coast Guard Festival activities that really ramp up heading into this weekend, and weather conditions look absolutely perfect. So, Tom, any issues this morning for drivers out there? Just a heads up of a day project that will be in place later on this morning. It's going to happen after the uh, peak of the morning rush and will wrap up prior to the evening rush, but uh, if you're heading uh, this way mid-morning through early afternoon, you'll want to know uh, the westbound ramp from I-196 to 28th Street, Wilson Avenue exit, that will close, as well as the ramp from eastbound I-196 to that exit. That's going to start at 11 o'clock this morning and run until 3 o'clock this afternoon. So again, just a heads up, uh, if that is an area that you have to travel today, that uh, that will not be an option for you. A project that's going to start on Sunday and then uh, the opposite direction on Monday, lane closures and traffic shifts going to be in place along eastbound I-96 from Whitneyville to the Kent Ionia County line. That starts Sunday. Westbound is going to start Monday. They're putting a zipper merge in effect for this meaning you stay in both lanes until you're told to actually merge. I'll have another traffic update for you coming up in about 15 minutes.